right, time to talk about the weather for the weekend, which is here. We got a lot going on this weekend, Lon. I think there's gonna be a lot of sunshine out there. It's certainly kicking off your day tomorrow. Now take a peek behind me. There's the picture. Statue of Liberty. Looking good under a nice sky, 45 degrees. Yeah, it's a nice night out there, just a little chilly. 45 currently, we're going to take you down to a starting point of 39 degrees. It'll be our third day in a row that Central Park kicks off the day at 39 degrees. There'll be some 20s out there in the suburbs. Taking a peek at the afternoon high temperature, about 53 degrees today, you were 51. So all in all, a real similar day. A lot of sunshine out there. One difference is portions of the city, and I'm talking about the Bronx, Staten Island, uh, could be cold enough for some frost out there. Frost advisory for you. Also Essex, Hudson, Union County, all of Nassau County. The shoreline areas of Westchester and Fairfield County, all of Suffolk County, possibly down to the freezing mark. So you have a freeze warning until about nine o'clock in the morning. Taking a peek overhead, nothing, nothing out there at all. Big old high pressure system right here, keeping us insulated. But what about this rain in Florida? Let me show you how this is all going to work out. The high pressure and that low sort of move parallel to each other. The high not allowing the low to come on shore, but you get to Sunday morning, 5:30. All right, what's going to happen at this point? Well, now this high. Is going to drop to the south. And as it does so, it expands. See it getting bigger right there? This is the stronger of the two elements. It's kicking that low out to sea. We get barely nothing from it. I mean, if you take a look at the course for the marathon, start of the marathon, if you're there at 6 a.m., maybe you're stretching. You know, KJ, you want to be dressed warmly at that point in time. It's 39 degrees. As you're running the race, all right, you do have a northerly flow, but it's a, it's a breeze. It's not a wind, maybe five to 10 miles per hour. You're running through the 40s into the 50s, maxing out about 55 degrees at, say, 2 p.m., 5 30 p.m. It's 50 degrees. <laughs> Trust me, I'd be, KJ, if I was running with you, I'd, I'd be finishing a lot later than 5.30 p.m. <laughs> but I will show you what the seven-day forecast looks like. By the time you finish the weekend, you start turning the thermometers up for all of next week. 61 Monday, 63 Tuesday, 62 Wednesday, pair of 59s for Thursday, Veteran Day, Veterans Day, and Friday uh, at 59 as well. The next rain chance, not until next Friday. But think about it. I mean, you should be, for next week, you should be about 57 degrees and every yeah. single day. I see above average. You and I should run this race. See who could finish slower. Right? <laughs> who could Six, finish seven slower. hours later. I, I, I ran right? one time when I was 21. Did you? Well, Good. the Boston Marathon. A long Good time. Good for you. I haven't. That was 35 years ago. Let's do it, Maurice. All right. Well, let's talk about it. Let's do that. How about this?